Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. <clears throat> I'm here to do the um, <clears throat> Green Moon Money Reading for the Gemini. Um, so this is a quick five card spread. We're supposed to have a green full moon on the 22nd. They claim it is a hoax, but I don't think that it is. <laughs> so we're going to do a five card quick reading. Um, again, for personalized reading which is what I do recommend. Contact me on my website. <clears throat> and I do offer same-day readings, okay? Um, so we're going to be looking at the Gemini's current financial situation. Um, will money come into the Gemini's life very soon? Um, any money opportunities that the Gemini might wish to consider more closely who or what oops, who or what project will bring in more money and then the outcome All right, so card number one for the Gemini is, <clears throat> uh oh, five of swords, Gemini. So something's going on here. This is not a very good financial foundation, okay? Um, again, this is a general reading, so um, this isn't gonna jive well with everybody, <clears throat> but the five of swords, um, denotes an unbalance in the financial area. Um, you know, this is this is about having mixed feelings. Um, finances, you know, there's definitely some need for some restraint with as far as spending money at this moment, at this time. Um, <clears throat> but don't give up, okay? This is more so, you know, um, if it if it does resonate with you, you just want to make sure that you're not being too argumentative when it comes to money <clears throat> or at work. And this is this is pointing more so to external and internal conflicts because the five the five is about conflict and competition. So there may be some competition at work. Um, or I'm going to tell you this, this is you, this is you self-sabotaging, okay? Um, card number two is will money be coming into your life very soon? And I'd say the king of wands would indicate yes. Um, there is going to be a literal person, okay? Because this is a court card. So the, I, I don't know if this is a father, maybe an inheritance, So I say yes, <clears throat> this could be, this card could be, could stand for you, literally. This person might give you some good money advice. This person, you know, might give you some, some much needed guidance. This is about positive, open, and adventurous masculine energy. So within the context of Finances, this is a good card. Um, there's some talent that you have that you didn't know about that could lead you to more money. Um, this is a really good time for you to start your own business or at least start taking the steps, do the research, you know. Um, don't hesitate to, to dream big, okay? Because if you dream big and you, the higher you reach for, the higher you will get. Um, card number three, three is money opportunities that you may wish to consider more closely <clears throat> and you did get the sun card so the sun card representing duality this is a, a major arcana card so I would say opportunities that you may want to consider more cl more closely would be something that would give you more freedom the sun card is about freedom. 
It's about joy and self-expression. It's also about duality as well, believe it or not. So that's why they have two people <clears throat> standing underneath the sun because um, this represents masculine and feminine energy. You know, the sun giving radiance. So I get the sense that, you know, you need to tap into your um, masculine energy, even if you're a woman. So, um, and, and whatever it is that you're thinking about doing that is going to involve I would say it would involve some sort of service maybe some of you are getting into um, some sort of skincare business maybe you're going to school to be an aesthetician you know there's a there's a whole slew of possibilities with this card with a general reading um, card number four is um, what project will bring in more money now you got the nine of swords Gemini so there's a project that you want to work on but you're afraid of doing it and I would say go for it as long as it's not illegal it's keeping you up at night um, your current job could possibly be keeping you up at night something's not jiving well that's, there's some negative spirits there um, I think that these negative spirits are not really caused by your job I think that a lot of you could possibly have you know had issues on your job because of some nasty spirits that are on you so you may want to do some cleanses or maybe see a spiritual counselor about that um, because that fear is going to do nothing in your life okay so it's something that you're afraid of something that you want to do that you're afraid of <clears throat> and it definitely means a lot to you and you don't want to fail at it but you just want to remind yourself to not Fear the unknown. This is the eight or the nope, this is the nine. So this is fear that keeps you up at night, prevents you from sleeping. So in so it's kind of like really causing you a lot of issues within your you know personal life as well. You know, um looks like there's you're fearing how you're going to pay your bills. So if you fear how you're going to pay your bills, then that's what you're going to manifest. Whatever your fears are is what you'll manifest. Your final outcome is the hermit. So I see you as doing some introspection, Gemini. Okay? I see you doing some meditation, um, especially on the full moon. Some of you are going to be um, exploring your spiritual side, which is going to create a major breakthrough for you okay um thank you so much for watching i hope that you guys enjoyed it i wish you money luck prosperity abundance and blessings and i'll see you guys for your next reading bye